Manipur violence and Modi's inaction. The clashes erupted on May 3, 2023 over the BJP state government potentially extending special benefits to the mostly Hindu ethnic majority Metis. Those benefits have been reserved for Manipur's minority Kuki people, who are mostly Christian. Metis account for about 53% of Manipur's population and live mostly in the Imphal Valley. Tribals, which include Nagas and Kukis, constitute 40% and reside mostly in the hill districts. At least 150 people have been killed and 400 wounded. More than 60,000 have been displaced as the army, paramilitary forces and police struggle to quell violence. 17 temples and 220 churches in dozens of villages have been torched. Soldiers were rushed in from other parts of the country to contain the violence and months later, a curfew and internet shutdown still remain in force in most parts of the state. Modi finally broke his two-month silence on the issue after a video showing dozens of men parading and assaulting two women who were stripped naked in Manipur went viral. India's parliament authorized a no-confidence vote against Modi's government to force Modi to properly address the concerns about the Manipur violence. However, Modi easily defeated the vote of no confidence and in a two-hour speech dismissed the move as a vain attempt to defame India. Modi's Bharatiya Janata Party, commonly known as the BJP, has a clear majority of 301 members in the 542-seat lower house of parliament, so the no-confidence vote did not affect its stability. Rehabilitation efforts have now started in the region, but the conflict is still ongoing. For more content on international relations, current affairs and Pakistan, please visit www.paradigmshift.com.pk or visit our social media platforms.